Welcome back my fellow machine learners. My name is Bevan Smith. In this video we're going to look at what is an epoch in neural networks. What is an epoch? Okay, so when we're training a neural network on a training data set, remember that we need to perform forward and back propagation using gradient descent to update the weights. We are continually trying to update the weights until our model is trained. However, forward and back propagation require inputting the data, the training data, into the neural network. We can either input the training data, the training examples, one by one, in many batches, or using the entire data set called batch. So for example, here's my silly training data set, which that has four training examples. We can input this into the neural network one by one, and each time we input it, we carry out forward and back propagation, and we update the weights. So we can do it one by one, or we can carry out using mini batch. So we can use mini batch where each mini batch we update the weights, or we can uh, use the entire data set, which is called batch, to update the weights. But however we input our training examples, However we do that, when we have input the entire data set once, that is, the entire data set has passed through the network, that is, the network has seen every single training example once, then that is an epoch. We most likely need to carry out many epochs before our neural network is trained adequately. If you want to learn more about forward and back propagation and various other topics, check out these videos. Bye for now, my fellow machine learners.